Um, all right, so uh, these are a little bit different questions. Um, talk a bit about why you think paranoia is sort of relevant to today or, or sort of socially relevant today. It's interesting because uh, it's a bit serendipitous that paranoia is coming out now when it's uh, when this subject, this topic, has found renewed fervor in the political conversation currently. It's, it's interesting. I feel like it's a bit of luck. Um, it's not a new debate. It's not a new question. Um, in fact, I'd say it's age-old question of, of, of the line between um, liberty and security, freedom uh, of, of privacy versus uh, freedom of, of safety. And uh, I think they're, they're, the two have kind of always been, um, they've always had a contentious relationship with one another, the two concepts. But now, with everything that's going on, with the NSA, and, uh, it's incredibly, um, it's found, a, it's found a, a, new, a new kind of fervor, a new energy behind it. And I like that. It helps our movie. And right now, I think, um, I think it's interesting because our ab ability to collect and store and share information ha has grown exponentially and I don't know if it's quite our ability to develop the mechanisms to control it and make it work within our system I don't know if it's caught up yet to, to, to the rapidly increasing ability to acquire the information and share it and so we're faced right now with, with um, the question of how much we're willing to give up in order to have the conveniences and uh, the convenient and the, the convenience and the fun of having um, this constantly connected uh, thing at our fingertips, the ability to share information of ourselves and be able to access information of others. It's funny to me that we're not asking at what cost that, that is acquired, but it's very relevant. Yeah. Uh Somebody said something in one of the other rooms where they say sort of privacy is dead or dying, you know, today. Um, do you think that that's kind of true or how do you think that, that that's happening? I think it happens in many ways. I think um, as technology becomes m easier and easier and cheaper to access, as we develop it quicker and quicker and quicker, as we are able to find convenience and rely upon the conveniences afforded to us by tech, not by technology. I think, I think as we continue to rely on it, we, it becomes easier and easier to forget that it comes at a cost. That uh, each, each of these devices, each of these um, systems, social media, internet, um, credit cards and electronic banking, uh, flying on, flying on a, on a commercial airline, for instance. There's all, uh, many aspects in which technology makes it more convenient for us, uh, yet we run the risk, increasingly run the risk, of, of forgetting that it comes at a cost, that it costs something. Privacy. How do you, how, how do you think the, the movie sort of touches on some of that stuff, or how does paranoia speak to these themes? Well, I mean, I think all of the characters um, working or being involved with the tech industry are um, are in one way, shape, or form embodying the 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 the, the, the I guess the systems that, that drive new technology and drive the innovation that gives us new technology. And uh, Liam and I embody the new generation of, of of young people coming into the workforce and to a destroyed workforce. <laughs> Uh, by by an older generation, the, you know Gary Oldman and, and Harrison Ford brilliant, brilliantly embody the older generation of CEOs and, and businessmen that kind of have left the left the the battlefield <laughs> the way it is, and I think it's part of why I liked Paranoia is because it dealt with the generational theme as well. Great. Uh, okay, this is a sort of a little bit of a thing we talked about earlier, but talk a bit about uh, what it was like to work with Liam and maybe how you guys work together to sort of build the relationship uh, between your characters. I, I loved working with Liam. He is, um, I wasn't familiar with him before we started working together. And it was, um, it was a great process because he's so friendly, he's so charismatic, it's easy to love him, it's easy to get along with him and be friends with him, and it makes... Um, 
it makes for for developing a relationship because you know when you're on set you have to develop two relationships your character's relationships and your 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 relationship as a human being with someone else that you're working with and sometimes the two can can conflict with one another and um, and in this case he made it incredibly easy despite the fact that 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 our characters um, meet and there are in conflict almost immediately and it, it, it he made it easy to not have that bleed into real life and it was great he he's I think that there's some quality about him that's very special it's just right beneath the surface Great. Uh, okay last question then we'll move into this last section uh, what do you think makes paranoia a smart thriller or, or why is it a smart thriller I think uh, paranoia is a is a smart thriller because it deals with age-old themes, age-old questions, morality and loyalty versus, um, you know, blind ambition, the kind of, um, you know, uh, selfish ambition that uh, the banking world especially, but the, 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 the one percent world is often cloaked with, you know, and, and I think it deals with those age-old themes, uh, um, right versus wrong, uh, um, it's a David and Goliath story in many ways, and I like those classic themes, but with the modern twist, set in a modern stage. Uh, I mentioned before about the generational gap being a huge part of this movie, but there's also the technology element and how, uh, how relevant it is to what we deal with now as our technology advances beyond our ability to control it. And um, I liked that both, both uh, both of those could be equally um, represented in the movie. It is, it is smart because it is old and new in many ways.